This tutorial explains how to correctly connect and set up a piezoresistive measuring chain using the Kistler amplifier type 4624. First, you should make sure that all the equipment is ready. The amplifier itself in a box containing a fixing plate and the quick start installation manual. The sensor. Here we use a sensor type 4049, but most other piezoresistive sensors can also be used. And there is the cable for power supply and signal output according to your specifications. You'll also need a multimeter or another voltage measuring device. Next, connect the power supply and signal cable to your power source. Make sure the voltage ranges between 10 and 30 volts. Then connect the cable to the amplifier. The LEDs will show that the power is on. After this, connect the sensor cable. The sensor is automatically identified thanks to the sensor's piezo smart feature indicated by the blue LED. As the next step, check the output signal. You best use a multimeter which you connect via the power supply and signal cable. The multimeter indicates the atmospheric pressure in volts recorded by the unmounted sensor. It's imperative to establish the corresponding pressure value in bar. To this purpose, you have to determine the so-called calibration factor. It's the ratio between the pressure range of the sensor and the signal range provided by the amplifier. In our case, the sensor's pressure range of 5 bar and the signal output range of 10 volts result in a calibration factor of 0.5 bar per volt. Now, as the measured value is 2 volts and the calibration factor is 0.5 bar per volt, the pressure amounts to 1 bar. However, today's atmospheric pressure is only 0.98 bar. That's why you need to do a zero-point adjustment. To get the correct output signal in volts, divide today's atmospheric pressure value of 0.98 bar by the calibration factor of 0.5 bar per volt. As a result, we get 1.96 volts. To align the values, use the push buttons. First, press Offset Adjust to get the amplifier into the setting mode indicated by the U-out or I-out LED, either of which will be flashing. Now use the arrow buttons to shift the signal. To finish, press Offset Adjust again. The U-out LED will now turn green. The offset correction is stored in the amplifier. Now you can mount the sensor and the amplifier and connect the measuring chain to your indicating system. You must repeat the offset correction prior to the first measurement. After this, you're ready to get accurate analog signals. The PR amplifier type 4624 offers much more than pure dynamic analog outputs. To profit from all its features, you have to use the amplifier's Ethernet connection. Please refer to our checklist and the Quick Start Installation Manual, as well as the videos on type 4624 at kistler.com.